it's the next day from the last video and here's Broughton Church I'm going to continue the walk along the Clarendon Way the thing is it's very misty at the moment so only limited videoing will be possible at first until it clears there's a misty view of the Broughton Dovecot this dovecot dates from 1340 but was rebuilt in 1684 into what we see now. The Clarendon Way passes over Wallop Brook. On the Clarendon Way heading towards King Somborn, the walk passes this interesting old building. It's still very misty. Look. The walk passes this intriguing stone monument describing the route of the Clarendon Way. Fascinating. On the Clarendon Way between Broughton and King Somborn, and there it is heading into the mist. I have seen the sun, so I'm still hopeful that this is going to clear. The Clarendon Way crosses the River Test on this footbridge. Still misty, I'm afraid. There's a view of the River Test from the footbridge. Splendid. The Clarendon Way crosses another branch of the River Test. The mist is definitely starting to clear now. Here's the junction where the Clarendon Way crosses the route of another long distance footpath called the Test Way, which follows the River Test, unsurprisingly. And that is the way ahead. There's a Test Way waymark, just for interest. This was photographed at the junction with the Clarendon Way. On the final path into King Somborn, there are some newly planted yew trees. Here's one of the signs for the Clarendon Way, depicting the Bishop's Mitre, or ceremonial hat. Now at King Somborn. Above King Somborn, I've rejoined another section of the Roman road followed yesterday. That's the Roman road between Old Serum and Clausentum. Old Serum, Salisbury, Clausentum, near the modern Southampton. Look at the state of some of this path. The Roman road is now in a gully. The sun has now come out and the mist is rapidly clearing all away. Look at the weather now. That's the way ahead. Fantastic views have opened up. Now climbing Beacon Hill. And that's the way ahead. Now on the ridge of Beacon Hill with great but hazy views to the left. And that's the way ahead. The walk passes this memorial seat. I'll show you the view in question. Fantastic. This monument marks the burial place of a horse that in 1733 tumbled into a quarry during a hunt. It survived and the owner renamed it Beware Chalk Pit. Now entering the Farley Mount Country Park where the way marking is supposed to be not so good. That's the way ahead. Now in Farley Country Park. One of the red 
topped Bridalway signs in Farley Mount Country Park. This one with Clarendon Way waymarks attached. Now out of Farley Mount Country Park, the Clarendon Way follows this lane northwards. The lane becomes unpaved and strides majestically on. For a few yards the way opens to views to the left. That's the way ahead. And over to the right, masks. As I say, that's the way. Leading back to the road, the path has become paved again. Great views. Now at Oliver's Battery. This is where Cromwell forced the surrender of Winchester during the Civil War. The walk has become a trudge through suburban streets on the outskirts of Winchester and I haven't seen a Clarendon Way sign since the edge of Farley Mount. Now we're heading into the centre of Winchester. At least some Clarendon Way footpaths, signs and way marks have appeared. Now heading along a sunken trackway, the remains of an old road into Winchester. Nice view over to the right. The Clarendon Way crosses the railway line by this footbridge. The instructions say turn left by the bell, so that's what I'll do. The walk path is St Cross's Charitable Hospital, founded in 1137. The Clarendon Way now leads across water meadows of the River Itchin. This seems to be a very popular walk. There it is, the River Itchin. And that's the way ahead. Nearly at Winchester now. We're also on part of the Pilgrim's Way long distance footpath here. And there's the Clarendon Way sign. Still going along the Itching Water Meadows. That track is the way ahead. There's some autumn colours in the trees already. Look. Another channel of the Itching with swans. This is looking back the way I've come. The walls of Wolversey Castle. Now along the final stretch of riverside walking. Old bridge over the river Itchin in Winchester. Winchester City Mill. There's King Alfred's statue in Winchester. And there it is, Winchester Cathedral. The walk ends at Winchester Station.